If you're a PC gamer, the one component that will probably be the biggest impact on your gaming performance is your GPU. Whether you're building a new budget-friendly gaming computer and you're looking for a graphics card that'll give you optimal performance for your budget, or maybe you're just looking to upgrade an older system and you need a more affordable option that'll allow you to play games on at least lower settings, then the good news is, is that you have a few different options to choose from. Welcome to another video from Top Tier Tech where today we're gonna to be sharing the best GPUs for 2022. But before we get into all that, please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, ding that notification bell. While the performance of the top of the line Nvidia and AMD GPUs are unbelievable a lot of the time, they are unreasonably expensive. With that being said, in today's video, we're gonna be going over some of the best GPUs that'll still give you a solid performance without breaking your bank. The Gigabyte GeForce GT30. A sub $100 graphics card option is the Gigabyte GeForce GT30. And just under $85, it's the most affordable option on the list. And if you're working with a tight budget to build a new gaming PC or maybe upgrade an existing older computer, a GT30 is an excellent option. Now, trust me, it's not gonna give you great in-game performance, especially in more demanding titles, but it can at least hold you over until you can find a more affordable upgrade. Ultimately, the GT1030 is an entry-level card that won't work for most individuals, but if you're strapped for cash, though, and need at least some sort of a GPU to get you by, this should do the trick. The PNY GeForce GTX 1650. Next up, we've got another NVIDIA card that is the GTX 1650, which should set you back around $250. Like the GTX 1650 Super, the standard GTX 1650 costs more than its direct competitor, the RX 750. With that being said, in most cases, the RX 570 often does edge out the GTX 1650 in most titles, but Due to its demand, it's rarely in stock, making the GTX 1650 a better option in a lot of cases. Of course, with graphics cards prices changing daily, it's still worth taking a look at prices before you make your final decision. The Evga GeForce GTX 1650 Super At the current price points, AMD cards seem to be much more sensible as compared to Nvidia in the sub $200 price range. The RX 5500 XT does outperform the GTX 1650 Super and the RX 580's Ultra 4GB of VRAM, along with the fact that it has a much lower price point than the 1650 Super, making it a great buy as well. However, if the GTX 1650 Supers were to come down in price to a much more reasonable level or maybe even lower than the RX 580, they might be worth a look. And if they do, this EVGA card would be one of the best options. It comes with a 1755 MHz base clock, 4GB of VRAM, and a dual fan configuration. Overall though, you can either spend a little more to get a better performance card like the RX 5500 XT, or you can spend less and get virtually the exact same performance, the RX 580. However, due to supply issues, the 1650 Super is worth considering as it's usually more in stock than its AMD counterparts. The XFX Radeon RX 550 If you don't have more than $100 to spend on a graphics card, then you've got a couple of options. As of right now, the best sub $100 GPU is the RX 550, and as of the time of this updating this guide, the top RX 550 currently is available at XFX's Core Edition. This card does come with a 1203 MHz base clock rate, 4GB of VRAM, and a single fan cooling configuration. Due to the single fan configuration, this RX 550 measures at just 6.7 inches long, so it's definitely a great option for a budget-friendly mini-gaming PC build. For performance, you can expect to run most games on a 1080p monitor on at least lower settings. For non-demanding games like League of Legends, this card will work just fine, and for more demanding titles, you can play on lower settings until you've got enough money to upgrade to something more powerful. The XFX Radeon RX 570 Next up, if you have a tight budget and you still can't spend more than $150, 
This XFX Radeon RX 570 graphics card is a great option. The RX 570 does lag a bit behind the RX 5500 XT and the RX 580, but it'll still run most games at 1080p on at least medium settings. This card is actually the largest option on our list, measuring in at 9.6 inches long. However, it's still compact enough to be able to be where it'll fit the majority of most modern cases. It also comes with 1264 MHz base clock and sports 4GB of VRAM. Overall, if you don't have the budget to get an RX 5500 XT, RX 580, or GTX 1650 Super, then the RX 570 is probably your next best option. And of the RX 570s currently on the market, this XFX card offers the best price to performance ratio, at least at the time of this recording. The Gigabyte Radeon RX 580 If you don't quite have $200 to spend, then your next best bet is probably going to be the Radeon RX 580. The 580 has been around for a couple of years now, and it has always been a great option for gamers on a budget. This card requires a 500 watt power supply, measures in at 9.1 inches long, and comes with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. While the RX 580 doesn't quite match the performance of the RX 5500 XT, it isn't far behind it either. So if you want to save $30 without having to sacrifice too much performance, then this card is definitely worth considering, and it will be able to handle 1080p options on some high settings just fine. The Gigabyte Radeon RX 5500 XT If you're looking for the best budget graphics card under $200, then an RX 5500 XT is currently your best bet. At times, you might be able to find an RX 590 or GTX 1660 for under $200, but as of right now, the RX 590 is tough to find anywhere, and all the GTX 1660s are over $200. So, if you got the right $200 to spend, then the Gigabyte RX 5500 XT is your best bet. This Gigabyte card features Gigabyte's dual fan WinForce 2X configuration, 1647 MHz, and 8GB of VRAM. With its dual fan configuration, the RX 5500 X only measures in at 8.9 inches long, making it a good option for small form factor PCs. Ultimately, the RX 5500 XT will be able to handle any game on 1080p on medium settings, with some games being able to handle high settings if the configuration allows for it. So, what do you guys think about the budget GPUs on our list? Which ones do you think offer the biggest bang for your buck? And are there any GPUs that we missed that you think should have been on the list? Let us know what you think in the comments section below, and before you leave, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell. Until next time, guys, stay safe and stay informed.